not me coming at you with another Hermes update. <laughs> okay, so this is just another update about another visit that I had with my essay. So this is kind of funny because basically getting the Cape Cod watch was like an unplanned visit, but this visit had been planned in advance, like two weeks. So I had just kind of gotten the Cape Cod watch at a random time, but then this visit was planned because my boyfriend actually came with me and he did want to look at some shoes. So I'm just gonna talk about the purchases that I made, how my visit went, and all the prices of the things that I got. But before I do, hi, I'm Sony Duchamp. I make videos once or twice a week on luxury and fashion. I have a couple series on my channel. Number one is this Hermes journey series, and number two, I have a fashion series going on. So I would love it if you subscribe so you do not miss out. As you can see, I didn't get that much. I only got three items, but let's start with the shoes because that's what I saw first. So let's start number one with these. So these are actually for my boyfriend and he picked out the genius sandals. So I was actually a little surprised because my essay was telling me that the genius sandals were about as popular as the Chapri sandals or the ship sandals for, for women's. And when I first texted him asking to set up this appointment, I'd said my boyfriend is interested in some shoes. He knows my boyfriend. And I mentioned that he was interested in the genius sandals. And he was like, oh, we might not have any sizes when he comes because they're actually really, really popular. I was like, oh, really? But we were lucky enough that the right size did come in. So these are size 43. And actually, I think my boyfriend is more closer to a 44. So typically I think they recommend that you size half a size up for these, but he actually did have to size a little bit down for these. So at least for the Genia sandals, if you're considering them, I would definitely recommend trying to go to store and get your correct sizing because it did seem like the sizing for these was a little bit unexpected, but he absolutely loves them. He's looking for a very comfortable pair of dad sandals and these are exactly what they are. The only difference between the Genia sandals and the ship sandals are that they have this back strap here. The front part is totally the same, the sole is totally the same. And he was kind of very conflicted because my essay had brought out this, these pair in noir, and then he also brought out a pair of ship sandals and the suede tube color. And he originally really wanted the suede tube, but then I was like, uh, I think that the black would be a little bit nicer. The leather will wear a little bit better than the suede. And he did like that this back strap was there. It makes them a little bit more formal, I guess, or a little less casual. And they could be a little bit more versatile because they were black in color. So he did eventually end up getting these and he absolutely loves them. The price on the Genius sandals is $850. So actually not very bad for the size of the shoe that you're getting really. So that was purchase number one. And then the second purchase I got were sandals for me. So I really wanted a pair of black heeled sandals. So like open toed heeled sandals. And so I had like a list of ones that were available for Hermes, but I was first and most primarily interested in the glamour sandals. And they are just absolutely gorgeous. So the Glamour sandals are definitely true to size. I got these in a 37 and a half, which is my true shoe size, and they are absolutely gorgeous. So if we take a little bit of a closer look, it just has this two strap here with the Kelly buckle detail, and then it has a slingback style in the back. It's got a not too high heel, and the bottom is just smooth. And then it does seem like the heel portion has a little bit of a cushion here. So when I did try them on, they felt absolutely perfect and fit and they were fairly comfortable. So I'm super happy. When I asked to try these on, they actually didn't have the color I wanted, which was the black leather with the silver Kelly buckle. So he brought out like a different pair. It was like the pink satin one to just get my size. And then he was able to order these from the warehouse for me. And when you kind of like order from the warehouse, they ship directly to your house. So it was like done in a separate transaction, but super happy that he was able to order these for me. I haven't worn them yet, but I absolutely plan to maybe tonight. And they are so adorable. And I kind of wanted these because I actually really want a Kelly 25 Noir in Palladium hardware. So I'm hoping with these sandals, I'm able to manifest my next Quota bag. And yeah, love these. So the Glamour sandals with tax came out to be $1,276.35. Sorry, the ordering receipt doesn't have the pre-tax information, but everything will be linked down in the description. And so we had finished looking at shoes. And while we were looking at shoes, watching Matthew try on shoes, I was trying on shoes and we're kind of having small talk. 
And that's when I brought up a little bit of clarification on my wish list because after I had the visit with getting the Cape Cod watch and officially putting down the wish list with my essay, I had a little bit more time to think about the different points that he had brought up and to think about sizing and colors a little bit more in depth. And so it was just one very small clarification. I just said, you know, originally I told you that I'm okay with both Retiné and Salier for the Birkin. I am still okay with both, but I would only really want the Salier style if it was in the 25. I wouldn't want it in any other size because at that point, I think it's like getting too big for a structured bag. And that's the only clarification I made. And he was like, okay, yeah, totally. And then he like made the note and that was that. So then we were done with the shoes. He put them away. And then the next thing was we went over to the home goods because I wanted to look at a pillow. So I recently bought the CB2 boucle chair. It's like a very popular like swivel boucle chair, very cute, but it was looking a little lonely. So I wanted to get a little pillow to put on the back of it or maybe even a throw. And I measured out the back portion of the chair and it was around 15 centimeters. So I asked to see both this exact pillow and I also asked to see the small Avalon pillow in chamomile, like cocoa chamomile. And he brought up both. And definitely the cocoa chamomile is a size for a sofa and the baby pillow is definitely much more fitted for like an accent chair and I still think that this biscuit color is so adorable with this little yellow detailing. Sure it's for a baby but what kind of baby is using this? <laughs> it is the perfect accent chair and I would highly recommend if you're looking for a pillow for your accent chair as well. So this pillow was also cheaper than the small Avalon which was nice but the pillow retailed for $620 pre-tax. So that was pretty much it. We got the pillow, we wrapped it up. And then right before we were about to leave, my essay just stopped me for a second. He was like, okay, what do you think about an Epsom Birkin? And I was like, Epsom Salier Birkin? And he was like, no, Epsom Retiné Birkin. And I was like, I had never seen an Epsom Retiné Birkin. And I was a little bit confused because I can't really picture it in my mind, like what that would look like, because to me, Epsom is quite a structured leather, whereas Togo leather is much more relaxed, or like Clemence is much more relaxed. So how could you have like a relaxed style of bag with a stiffer leather? And he tried to pull up some pictures on Google and show me, but it was, you couldn't really tell, like, right? You couldn't really tell the structure of the bag, but I'm actually filming this video a little bit after I had done this visit. And he did tell me later on that there was a, available Birkin 30 more, but it was in Epsom leather. And so I told him like I would prefer gold instead of Norm. And so he said that option would have been available if I wanted it, but I didn't want it. And I'm glad I did because he then told me that an Epsom Birkin, especially in larger sizes, like the 30 to 35, they slouch a little bit weird because like Togo has this kind of graining, which kind of allows it to slouch a little bit naturally, but Epsom kind of gets like creases because it's a more structured and hard leather. So. If your essay ever asks you if you're interested in an Epsom Retiné Birkin, totally fine if you are, but do keep in mind that it is like a structured leather on an unstructured bag. So as time passes, the leather might wear in a way that you don't want to. So that's just like my little piece of advice for you from this visit. But yeah, those are the only things that I got. I'm going to insert a picture here with the pillow on my bootleg because I think it is so adorable. So that brings us to a wrap on today's video. This was just a very quick video about what I bought on my fifth visit with my essay, I believe, within the same month. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments about the things that I purchased, please leave them down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye.